Hello, good evening. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. I'm so blessed in today again. I am so blessed. I mean, imagine that you get up day after day not knowing what to do all day. Having no idea what your passions may be, no idea what your talents may be, and never having been told what you're good at. Imagine that you don't know who you are. And not only been looked down upon by others, but recently underestimating yourself. Not having any future projects or perspectives for the rest of your life. And you're only 18. Not every 18 year old has such a bleak outlook on life, but the great number of youngsters in Belgium do, particularly in the big cities. This is Joachim. Every time I cross him, he caught my attention. Always very neat and tidy, well dressed, very confident, but the opposite of arrogance. Just a nice guy. What you did not see was how insecure he really felt and the setbacks he had to struggle with and how he felt responsible for the well-being of his family. And since he was a little boy, he aspired to become an entrepreneur. He had a hard time when he was younger, but he was never negative. Well, Joachim worked hard, went to college, studied IT, and today, he runs his own iPhone repair company. Joachim is one of my heroes. He's an inspiration to so many youngsters who need to turn their lives around and make something out of themselves. Unfortunately, not every youngster succeeds. Thousands of youngsters don't know what their passion or talents are. They are feeling hemmed in by these oppressive walls, walls we are creating and maintaining. All of us are. And what we can do is at least recognize that these walls do exist and that they are higher for some. We could also start piercing these walls. Or better, let's put some doors in these walls and give people keys to access. And talking about these keys, in cities like Antwerp and Brussels, we have a school dropout rate of more than 25%. Almost 28%. Imagine one third of this room should have to leave now. You're out. Crazy. So many young people losing the keys to integration, participation, a network, the language, the culture, a profession, a job, or more important, the key to a positive self-esteem, dignity. And a lot of these youngsters are underprivileged and or have roots outside Belgium. It's about time, yes. It's high time. Because in Antwerp and Brussels alone, we have 200,000 children under the age of 10. Those are 200,000 very good reasons for us to believe and to take action. The good news, there's also good news, the good news is that we can do something about it and a lot of people want to do something about it. It's about our legacy, it's about us being able to look back and say we did our very best. And whatever the solution may turn out to be, I think they should fulfill at least three conditions. First, a person's potential should be central, not his problem. A person is not his problem. A person's problem is the break on his potential, and the challenge lies in releasing the break to allow people to grow, which will provide him with, with oxygen and pride and self-esteem. Second, believing in people means making ourselves unnecessary. Investing in people and a solution needs to make itself unnecessary. At some point, they will stop needing you. And third, of course, every solution should be ambitious. Help them to release the brakes, and the sky will be the limit. Now, none of these conditions 
are new. In fact, we have something that is based on these conditions for centuries, and we all know it. In fact, in Belgium, we are all grateful to have had it. Education. Good education enables people to stand on their own two feet, is ambitious, and starts or focuses on people's potential. That's why I always dreamt of becoming a teacher. Since I was in primary school, I wanted to be Miss. Education is the main resource of our society. It's the foundation upon which everything in our society is built. It is education, and especially the people within that educational process that transforms that three-year-old into a young man or woman who feels self-assured and confident and resilient. Well prepared to, to take part in the creation of a bright future. With a focus on personal development, and the teacher as a compass, pointing towards all the possibilities out there. And Rita Pearson says it beautifully. She says, we have to see to it that a child can say, I am somebody. I am somebody. I was somebody when I came and I will be somebody when I leave. I am powerful and strong and I deserve the education that I get here. Children will shout, yeah! But still, after my teacher training, I felt reproduction was the core of the curriculum. That's why I decided to went further for my master's degree in educational science, and I think that's where my next project and career as a social entrepreneur started. And the choice wasn't exactly random, because I, too, came from an underprivileged group, a lower social economic class, and yes, I, too, have an immigration background. And looking back of what made me what I am today are the people within my educational process, but also my, my warm Muslim Moroccan family and the after-school program where I enrolled in 20 years of gymnastic. And I think that's why my first project was an after-school program. By now, Let's Go Urban attracts thousands of youngsters a week, all passionate about urban culture, dance, sports, music, acting, entrepreneurship. They come to us for our coaches. They organize 55 workshops every week. And what unites these youngsters is their passion. Passion connects. And passion is colorblind. It goes beyond your ethnical, cultural, social, economic differences. It takes down all boundaries and, and it's, it's, it, it just makes all of us equal. Everybody's welcome, whether you're a Muslim, a Jew, a Buddhist, a, a Christian, an atheist, high qualified, low skilled, privileged or underprivileged, everybody feels welcome. Let's Go Urban is, is like a family. It's a community, a network, that these young people will keep on using long after their Let's Go Urban years. Our keys are their keys. And unfortunately, I know hundreds of young men and women with good values, competencies, talents and skills. With the right keys to succeed in their professional career. And still, doors stay closed. This is how our companies look like today, especially on the higher levels. And this is how they should look like tomorrow. With the focus on, on the one hand, plenty of people with potential and talent, and on the other hand, all those companies that are searching for these people. There is a mismatch. And that's why I think I decided to start a, a new company, a new startup. Because besides education, we think being financial independent is another key to dignity and to feeling connected, feeling part of society. With Wanna Work, we are creating platforms that connect these people's potential with all those companies. There is so many work that has to be done. And you don't have to listen to me. 
forget everything what I said for the last 10 minutes, but at least listen to the smartest among us, the children. They are very angry. Listen to what Brooke Blair has got to say. My name is Brooke Blair and I'm five years old. I've got something to take, say to you, Theresa May. Yesterday night, I was out on the streets and I saw 100 million of homeless people. I saw one with floppy ears. I saw loads. You should be out there, Theresa May. You should be biscuits. Hot chocolate sandwiches, and building houses. Look, I'm only five years old. There's nothing I can do about it. I'm saving up money, and there'll never be enough. You've got the pot of money. Spend some and help people. This, that's what you've got to do. Because we've had lots of wars in this country, and I do not like that, Theresa May. I'm very angry. <laughs> She's very angry. <laughs> She had 30 seconds to convince you, and I needed 10, so she did a great job, she did a great job. Look, which is certain is this, it's about time. In Antwerp and Brussels alone, there are 200,000 Brook Blairs under the age of 10. In 10 years, they will all become adults. They will need good education, job opportunities, and perspectives, just like Joachim. I think... Those are 200,000 very good reasons for all of us to believe and to take action. I'm trying to do this in my own way as a social entrepreneur, but I really hope that, and this is a call to action, that everyone here in this room, everyone present here today, will listen to all the messages of all those great speakers and, you know, just start to join us. TEDx. Women Flanders, thank you so much for sharing the stage. And for all of you, never forget to hashtag believe. Thank you so much. Thank you.